believe it or not, a week ago today, it was like 100 degrees and we were out on the lake. So this is quite a change. Oh good, we're getting the fence down. Yeah, we got quite a bit to do before winter, but it's amazing how fast fall came on. So the changes in the scenery and the leaves falling and acorns coming out of the oak trees. And you guys got to see how far down the lake is. Tula, you stay here. I don't want you falling in what's left of the water. Stay out of there. Yeah. Well, you can see how much the dog's out of the water. In the spring, it floated away. So here's something kind of cool I learned this year on accident, really, is cracking duck eggs here. Look at that funky color. So it's kind of startling. So they got this kind of crazy hue to them. And I had never seen that before. And um, someone had pointed it out to me who buys eggs from us. But anyway, so I looked into it because that's like super weird, right? Um, and it's actually from them eating acorns, which they've eaten acorns in the past, but generally we kind of clean up our yard a little bit so we don't have as many. And this year we didn't do that. So the ducks got into the acorns and it actually can turn the yolks like a brownish or even a greenish color. And that's from the uh, tannins inside of the acorns. So it was kind of crazy discovery we had this year, um, but they are still safe to eat. They can change the flavoring slightly. Most people, I guess, don't even notice it though. But how weird is that to have like a brown egg yolk? Come on, Tula. Got a heck of a fort down here. Fall's apparently coming. I got leaves falling off the trees into my lettuce I planted. That's a little sad. The lettuce is coming up nice. It's a good fall crop because um, if you do it in the heat of summer and you stripe, or if you do it in the heat of summer, um, and you start picking it, the leaves are really bitter and gross. So it's a good fall slash spring crop. And ours is coming in really nice here. I also did a couple of random radish seeds I had left. And that's just a wild tomato plant that took over I should have handled a while ago. But what do you do? So I'm gonna go through here and kind of check out my carrot situation, which is looking really good. Pick a few of them. Oh, those are nice. Really good sized ones. I gotta say, this is probably one of the the better um, carrot years we've had. Usually I plant them a little bit too close and then they just get really, really short. But yeah, these are beautiful. Pepper plants really double, tripled in size from all the heat we've had this week. Still growing pretty good. Got a ton on this one. It's kind of fun. These little jalapenos. A couple are ready to pick. And since we never got around to uh, planting my raspberry bush, it planted itself. Actually rooted down into the blueberries over there. The way it's spread around. And if you pull it up, it's actually rooted. So that's kind of funny. Orange one over here that's ready to go. That looks good. Got a few green ones in here too. Oof. Got a bee on that one though. I think I'll leave the bee alone. Almost looks like a strawberry. That's weird. I wonder what it is. I need to get out here and pick some of these beets though and have dinner with them because there is a ton. I'm really curious as to what that is. 
Oh, that's a good beat. It's a huge one. These are kind of overtaking too. It's a couple variety of tomatoes. These ones are yellow, so it's not that it's not ripe. It's just a yellow tomato. They're really good, really sweet. And then just a few other ones starting to redden. But they are doing great this year. And I will say we never had any bug problems with our tomatoes this year, which was huge because last year we really struggled with worms getting into our romas especially. But we didn't have any this year, which was very nice. Um, we do have some chives over here growing too ready to pick. The funny thing is I never even planted chives. So that's probably leftovers from last year's planter box. It's kind of funny. And the garlic chives are doing awesome. They got bumblebees everywhere on them. A walking onion replanted itself right here. It looks like it's got another bundle to replant. So that's kind of fun. I think I'm gonna have to move them next year though and get them a little more space. So they can just keep walking and growing and sprouting everywhere instead of keeping them in a planter box because they do really well. So this year we've had successful sunflower season. This is how tall they're getting. They, we have several varieties in here, which is super fun. I've always really liked sunflowers and wanted to grow them and I finally did it and they actually worked. But look how tall these guys are. Well, actually come this way. They're actually quite a bit taller. You come right in here. These ones turned out great and the bees are working away on them still. So we'll probably get some seeds that we can munch on if the birds don't get them first. So this is the first year we won't have to actually go to an apple orchard to pick, which has been a tradition for us forever. But now we can just do it at home. And these are Macintosh apples. And I gotta tell you, I'm super excited because in the years past, we've only gotten like one or two apples on these trees, which was super disheartening. But this year it's like jackpot. So I'm hoping it continues every single year for this. Um, we did pick all of our pear trees, which did phenomenal this year too, actually. We got at least three bags full of pears, which was awesome. So the thing about fruit trees is you only plant them once and then they just get better every year. As long as you have the bees.